Hey guys, Tony here. One of the biggest things that kills the experience of watching a movie on the big screen is ambient light. Unless you're in a fully enclosed room where there are doors and windows that are completely covered, any light source other than your projector will start to ruin the contrast and fidelity of your picture. While there's a number of screens that have been designed for ultra short throw projectors for both ambient light rejection and ceiling light rejection, there has been very little in the way of those screens for standard or long throw projectors. Till now. In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new ALR technology from Premium Screen called Boreal ALR in 120 inch 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Premium Screen are a Swiss company that have developed something pretty clever and is what I think a big improvement over a standard projector screen. I'm going to show you the construction process in time lapse and show you how it performs in several lighting conditions and I will have chapter markers as well so that you can skip ahead at any time or go back. Stick around to the end as I will give my recommendation about this screen as well as discuss pricing so make sure you comment down below with any questions or feedback and while you're down there hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to see more home theatre related content. But for now, let's get into the video. So the construction process was pretty much like any screen I've put together, with a few exceptions. Everything was very carefully packaged with each piece having its own protective cover. The other thing that I noticed right away is that the outer bezels were wrapped in velvet, which is unusual for a narrow bezel screen and it has a very premium feel to it. The process is as simple as assembling the inner frame, laying it on top of the screen and using the provided springs, pulling both sides taut to minimize any creases. We did get a couple of wrinkles easily removed by adjusting the springs in the corners. Then the outer frame goes on using the provided grub screws and corner bracing pieces and the build is complete. Now you can use the provided mounting system however as I have LEDs and a timber wall panel system I used my own way of mounting as I've used for previous screens which leaves a small gap behind so that the LEDs can shine through. Of course, not on during movie time, but it's nice for ambience in the room. So before we get into the demos, which I have done under various lighting conditions, I wanted to clear up a few misconceptions about ALR screens. ALR screens are not ever going to give you a perfect picture with black levels in a bright room. It is a very polarizing topic and one that I have seen people have heated debates about on Facebook groups. And as someone who has a lot of experience with ALR, CLR and woven acoustic screens, as well as standard screens, absolutely everything relating to the performance will be dictated by the room itself. My upstairs theatre room, which is designed to be more of a casual space, has lots of ambient light because I have windows and shutters which I'm not prepared to cover up. The windows to the side of the screen I've often coined in my videos as the windows of death as they will destroy the picture of any screen if they're left open as the midday sun all the way up to the evening will give a very strong and direct beam of light right onto the screen. What also makes it very difficult is that I have decided to go with a ceiling mounted projector which means a typical UST screen cannot be used and in the past I've had CLR and UST screens which have actually done a pretty good job of blocking light as they have a special angle to them which can only reflect light coming from underneath. So when I reached out to Premium Screen I asked them if they had something that I could use with some ambient light coming into the room from the various windows and doors but could mitigate for a long throw projector. This is when they recommended the Boreal ALR, which has a light grey material that feels like the plastic that you get from a pool toy. So it's semi stretchy and has a special coating on it which is designed to reflect direct light while ignoring ambient light. It has a 0.8 gain which is consistent with an ALR screen but it doesn't give a dark image. In fact, quite the opposite. Especially at night time, there is a real 3D look to the image, which is incredible. As you can see from the Avatar Way of Water demo, you can see how great it looks. The picture seems to jump off the screen. Check the description for links to the screen as there is currently a special offer if you want to buy one for your setup. I'll say even before showing you the demos that you need to be clear on your room and the way that ambient light affects your room in different scenarios. As I don't watch with the shutters open, I only have mild ambient light, 
So having this screen has really helped knock out the wall and window light reflections to give me a beautiful image even with the lights on. Yes, it does reduce contrast a little, but it's still very watchable. So be realistic with your expectations. I knew going in what I was after and this screen has worked out very well for me. It will be the screen that I keep in my setup for the foreseeable future as it pairs really nicely with my XG Horizon Ultra projector. And the best part is that there is no laser speckle with this screen either, which is excellent. So what you've all been waiting for is to see how it performs under different lighting conditions. And I spent a whole day testing out from the borderline ridiculous of having the shutters open and blasting the screen all the way to the late afternoon and evening as well as having the overhead lights on. So for the test as mentioned we are using the X Jimmy Horizon Ultra which I did review on a recent video. You can check the links in the description to that one as it does Dolby Vision and has a decently bright output but a lot of the complaints people have said is that the black levels are no good with this projector. This is part of the issue with DLP light engines. Often in the black areas of an image, there is a gray tinge that can't be controlled. Well, I found that this screen did a great job of eliminating the gray bars. And this is why having an ALR screen in a light controlled room can also be of benefit. So for the first test, we are looking at Disney Plus with a new TV series called The Artful Dodger, which has Dolby Vision support and a great mix of dark and light scenes. As you can see with the complete direct light, it washes out the image, which is to be expected. However, you can still see part of the image that isn't hit and if this was a white screen it would be completely washed out. I then close the shutters closest to the screen still leaving the rest of the room and the windows and the blinds open so that the direct light was gone and the image got instantly better. The next shot was with all of the shutters and blinds closed but as you can see there is still a lot of light coming in as you can see from the reflection on the ceiling. The screen wall is black so it does help with things but there is still a considerable amount of ambient light in the room. This is how it would be watching something during the day with all the doors and windows closed. It's still a very watchable image. I then had to pause recording till the evening and it's not completely dark in summer in Australia. It gets dark around 8.30 p.m. So I filmed the room with it being decently dark and you can see how the image just pops off the screen. So for an ambient light rejection screen, this one works very well for both ambient light and complete light control. Take a look at some of the other demos as I chose a mix of bright and dark movies to give you a sense of how the screen performs because the movie itself also has a big impact on the way a screen looks. You can see for Super Mario which is bright and vivid that it just looks very colourful and three dimensional. The Dolby Vision tone mapping and the high brightness of the projector allow for a very good experience in moderate lighting conditions. Mission Impossible was kind of a middle of the road type of movie where there was a decent mix of light and dark scenes and you can see it held up pretty well. As I said earlier, you need to have a good understanding of why you want an ALR screen and be prepared for the experience not to be like a dedicated blacked out room, but with a screen like this, you can compromise a little and still enjoy the experience. Now, John Wick 4 is one of my favorite movies to test out and it has some beautifully shot scenes on the rooftop of the Tokyo Continental and the black levels here when the lights were completely out was similar to my JVC MP5, which is pretty insane considering that this is a DLP projector. The screen was able to absorb and not reflect some of the afterglow coming from the projector and kept the scenes looking nice and tight while also giving enough brightness and detail in the dark spots of the image. So I've been using this screen in my setup for a couple of weeks now and I held out making a review video as I wanted to really get my head around this screen and highlight some of the pros and cons. If you have a super bright room, I don't think that this screen will be the one for you. In fact, I doubt any screen will work for you, really, as there is no screen that can be black and still reflect light to your eyes. So if that's the case for you, it may be time to buy a super big TV. I think that this screen is for a room which has some ambient light, which can be controlled by closing blinds or shutters so that there isn't a huge amount of direct light hitting the screen. And while it will not give you that perfect picture with the lights on, when the lights are off or at night, the image is absolutely stunning. So check the links in the description for current pricing. Premium screen have a special 10% offer right now for my audience. So check the code down below. It's not an affiliate link, but they did offer it to help out my viewers if you decide to buy one. They also have an easy payment plan using Klarna for up to 36 months. 
They also ship worldwide for free, which is pretty awesome as well. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, why not hit the like button for me? And it really helps me out when you do that. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see my future videos. My next big project for the end of the year is to film my upstairs theatre room and make it into a room tour. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that video. If you have any questions at all, drop them down below. And I'd like to thank Premium Screen for sending this to me. I will be enjoying this screen in my setup for many years to come. Thanks again for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.